Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matilda and I am a model here in New York City. And if you don't already know, I post three videos a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be moving along to the next step. So as you guys can tell from the title, I will be showing you guys what's on my... Now, I haven't done one of these videos in literally, 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 literally so long because I'm trying to stick with these model-related contents, but I don't know. So without further ado, let's go. To start off, this is my old iPhone I had since 2016, 2017, and it is in perfect shape. I have a couple scratches here and there, but not too noticeable. So this is an iPhone 6S. I bought this for myself, and it's literally the first iPhone I bought for myself. The camera quality is perfect. I'm going to put all the properties on the side of the screen, but the camera quality is legit perfect and super duper convenient. On the side of the screen, I'm also going to input a couple photos I've taken with this iPhone to show you guys how legit this camera is. It's literally amazing. Almost, almost, almost Canon quality. So to start off with this video, I will be showing you guys as well as reviewing what's on my iPhone XR. This is the iPhone XR. The camera quality on this phone is legit perfect you guys know me being a model the camera quality has to be literally perfect on the side of the screen i'm also going to show you guys a couple photos that i've taken with this iphone this is my home screen this is a recent photo shoot i had uh, two days ago i also filmed and edited a vlog based on this photo shoot if you haven't seen it yet it will be somewhere on this screen i literally just love this photo so much so to start off this is my lock screen as well as my home screen because i literally just love that photo so much the first thing you'll see is my main page and the first thing i have of course is my camera that's my ring light, that's my background for camera. I also love that this has portrait mode. I literally use portrait mode all the time for my selfie. Moving along, we have my photo gallery and I'm not going to open it because it might be a little bit explicit for YouTube, but we're gonna move along. Moving along, we have Facebook and Facebook Messenger. I'm literally not on Facebook ever. I use Facebook to promote my YouTube. Moving along, I have my mail, and I typically don't use this specific app, hence why it's at 2000. I'm more of a Gmail and an Outlook girl. Moving along, I have my YouTube-related apps. YouTube is pretty self-explanatory. YT Studio, I use to comment on you guys' comments. YT Tracker is used to track revenue. The apps I use every single day of my life i have instagram i use this app every single day if you aren't already following me on instagram the contact will be somewhere on the screen we're gonna go ahead and take a look so as of now this is how my instagram is looking i have a couple photos constantly updating my instagram feed Next up, I have my Snapchat, and I literally don't even use Snapchat anymore. I should honestly deactivate my account and delete the app, but I don't know what it's still doing here. Don't follow me. I don't use it. Now, Twitter, I use to promote my content as well as tweet some stuff here and there. TikTok, I'm new to TikTok, but I'm also thinking of deactivating the account. My Gmail account, I literally use Gmail for literally everything. I use it for my modeling agencies. I have brands send me products. I use it for contacting photographers, all of that. So I am very much up to date on every single one of my emails as well as Outlook. It's more so for my school. Next up, we have FaceTime. And as you guys can see, I literally... Yeah, I literally don't um, FaceTime anybody because I don't have any friends, which is cool, which is cool. You know, it's 2020. We're all quarantined. It's fine. Then I have my Reminders app, and I'm not going to open up because I have some important stuff in there, but I have a reminder for things such as chores, groceries, and whatnot. Now, moving along, I really hope I'm not going too fast, but I have work time, what I use to calculate my work hours. Then I have notes. I am currently at my grocery for the week up next i have my podcast app and i am currently listening to bobo and flex balance black girl i literally listen to them every morning while i prepare for the day and make my breakfast moving along i have my calendar app and this app is extremely 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 important to me because i use this to track literally everything as you guys can see before quarantine before quarantine i use this app so much for everything i do within my modeling within youtube within my lifestyle during quarantine 
everything is written down on my dry erase board but I literally still use this app for a lot of things. Now I have the FMH mobile and it is the Find My Health mobile and I use this to track my health related to my private doctor. Then I have Poshmark and Depop because I am a seller on those apps. Also, if you guys want to see the items I am selling, it will be somewhere on this screen. Now down here, I have my finance folder and this is more focused on the stock market, buying stocks as well as trading. Now moving along, I have my favorite browsers which are Safari and Google. Then I have WhatsApp which I use to contact my family overseas like Nigeria, the UK, London, Switzerland, Paris, and all that. Weather, so I'm not going to open up the weather because I don't want you guys to know my location as well as my maps my Google Maps then I have transit because you guys know I live in New York City and I get lost sometimes I literally don't know my way around but I still use this in order to find my destination now next to that I have my clock app and every single time I create a what's in my iPhone video I literally have to delete all of this because it literally gets on my nerves it's so cringy it's so oh my goodness I just feel so cluttered with all of this here but I literally delete all of them i have so much to be honest so much i literally wake up at the most randomest times randomest is not a word but random times now next to that i have my app store i have find my iphone files so jam i use to figure out what background music i should use for these videos because i'm trying to make it interesting then i have inotes where i use this app to write down all my passwords and i can as you get some have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do as you guys can see i have a passcode in order to get into the files in order to see my passwords now after that i have fandango where i used to watch all my movies and see all the movies coming up but you know since we're all in quarantine i haven't used this app in so long and have camera connect where i use to import video footage from this camera onto the phone then i have group me in order to promote my content i have my music app let me put you guys on i know we are all familiar with the song now i never get over you it's the last time they give me like i know it's such a throwback but it's literally still a bop okay moving along down here are the holy grail of editing apps i use these for my thumbnail creation as well as editing my instagram photos i have fonto specifically for thumbnails i have pixar face snap speed visco airbrush lightroom and eraser i use these to edit all of my photos because you know every single photo nowadays has to be edited has to be face tuned has to be all of that it's all about deceiving your audience moving along now it starts to get a little bit random i have mp which is called my pill which i use for my birth control app but i am currently not on birth control but i use this for my period tracker netflix of course but i watch netflix on my laptop and my tv bumble i use to network with other models around my area utilities what do i have in here i have my compass measure and calculator i have my extras folder which is pretty self-explanatory i have news tv books health wallet home clips pages keynote numbers garage band watch contacts apple store tips itunes iMovie, itunes u and music then i have my finance folder which i'm clearly not going to open for obvious reasons then i have voice memos which i use to record voiceovers for my clothing hauls that i post here on youtube and if you haven't seen any of my clothing hauls there will be a playlist dedicated to all of my clothing hauls ewc stands for european wax center which i use for wax overstock uber fun facts i actually had the uber eats app but i was literally ordering uber eats three times a day on uber eats it was literally an unhealthy obsession during this quarantine so i had to delete that app and literally just focus on a better future moving along i have amazon i haven't been on amazon in a while literally everything in this room is like amazon but i have amazon then i have yelp moving along i have trulia and zillow rentals and you guys know i live in new york city i am constantly 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 looking for good deals around here because you know living situation has to be perfect then i have shortcuts sheen and pretty little thing i haven't been on sheen and pretty little thing because quarantine you know then i have reddit moving along to the next page i have yes 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 i have games on my phone i have chess criminal case and design home these are all games that stimulate the minds it's literally important for my soul i love chess i love criminal cases and i love home decor moving along i have an app called unum and i use this to sort out my instagram feed to have it looking a little bit aesthetic looking so i would literally drag 
and paste my photos in order to see how my feed will be looking. As you guys can see, I have been organizing. It's not looking very pleasing at the moment, but I am currently sorting out my Instagram feed. Next, I have Eventbrite that I use to look up a couple castings around my area, Dropbox, Drive, and documents I use for obvious reasons to download, import, send photos. Last but not least, on my page, I have Headspace that I use for meditation. I literally love this app so much. I use this for meditation, three minute breathing exercise, 10 minute workouts, all of that stuff. Down here, I have my phone, messages, calendar, and settings. Now that is all for this quick little what's on my iPhone update video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these types of videos and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos three times a week and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.